Today we're going to talk about how to deal with example files. I've been getting a lot of questions lately on using sample files with your Marlin configuration for a printer that you may be working with. And obviously I don't have all the answers because normally I do my tutorials from scratch so I can show you the individual configuration. But in this case, I want to show you how it actually operates. So what I'm going to do is walk you through the process that you're probably going to have to think about if you're going to use an example configuration and what may happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the first thing that we need to do is go to downloads. And as you can see, this is the latest release of Marlin's firmware. But to get the configurations, you're going to have to click on View Downloads and then click on the Code portion and then Download Zip. Now, obviously, it may vary between the systems that you use, but that's okay. Next, we're going to go over and we're going to actually open up the folder for this. So I'm going to my Downloads folder and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to extract all. So I'll be pulling down the extracted file to my drive so that we can see what's going on. And I'm going to pick out one configuration just so you can see what happens. So in this case, it opens up and it has the release configurations. So you can see example configurations right here inside the config folder. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to find the ender so as soon as we open up the Creality Ender, we'll go to the Ender 5. Inside here, there's several different configurations. So what you're going to need to do is find what yours may be or plan accordingly. So we have a turbo configuration here. So I'm going to open this up. And inside here, we're just going to peruse it real quick. So I'll open it. And we'll see what we've got here. So if we go to motherboard, this is probably the most important thing. As you can see, it's got some definitions of what you may be working with for a motherboard. In this case, it may also vary and be a different one. So I'm going to show you the way to figure out what your configuration is compared to the regular configuration. So I'm going to close out of here. And I'm going to go back over to the browser for a second. And I'm going to click on Tortoise SVN that I have right here in the search window. And I'm going to go to the download. Inside here, I'm going to find my system. And I know, for instance, my system is actually a 64-bit system. So I'm going to click on this to actually download it. So it might take a second to clear through the ads. And then it's going to save. Now hopefully there won't be too many ads loaded. If there are, I'll show you a way to clear those out with your programs and features. It may vary according to your system, but we'll figure that out in a second. So let's go over to the download folder. And we have Tortoise SVN here. So we're going to click on it. It may ask for permission to actually download, so the screen may go blank for a second and you may hear a beep. So what we have right here is the terms of service. This is actually just a free software used for source control. So I'm going to click on next. I'm going to click on next and then I'm going to install. Now it's showing a screen that says, do you want to do it on your system? And then it finishes. So the advantage to this, I'll show you in a second. I have a freshly extracted copy of Marlin right here. So I'm going to start a third folder called compare. So we're going to go CMA. Whoop, never mind me. Anyways, there's our compare folder. So we're going to go into the Marlin folder first and we're going to go in to where it has configuration.h and advanced. We're going to right click and we're going to copy all that. 
Then we're going to go back up to the downloads into the compare folder and paste those right here. And we'll call these base configs. So we'll rename this configuration default. And we'll call the advanced configuration configuration advanced default. So now that we got that set, let's go back to the downloads folder and we're going to go find the actual folder that we have for that example. So they have several different things in here, but we're only interested at the moment in config.h and config advanced. So we're going to copy those and we're going to assume that they're not changed just so we can see what's going on. So we'll go back to downloads, go to compare and paste them in here. So now that we actually have SVN installed, we can click on configuration.h, then hold the control button, and you're going to find the default configuration, and then you're going to right click, and what you'll see here is Tortoise SVN. And you see over here something called diff, that means differences, so I'm going to click on that, and then what you'll see is the actual configuration file that's compared out. So we have the configuration that we got from examples over here, and then we have our configuration that's default. So what you can do is you can actually go through here and see what the differences are between the two files and make changes accordingly. So if you're using a custom boot screen, then you can say, okay, I'll remove the comments over here. But it's best to just take notes on what you're working with. And then when you're complete with this, you're going to copy it back to your Marlin folder. So you can do that for both your advanced configuration and for your regular configuration to decide what changes you want to take across to your configuration. And then load those up and compile. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to change maybe one thing in here. So let's look for motherboard. I know it's up here someplace. So you can see our default configuration and the speed. So all we're going to do is we're going to click on use left block, I believe it is, or it's switch. So I'm going to try this one first. So now that it's over here, we can actually either delete this or comment it out. So I'm just going to delete it so it's equal. And then up here, we have two configurations. So this one needs to change as well. So we're going to do this again. And we're going to wipe out this one right here or comment it out in this case. So to comment, you're just going to put two slashes like so. Then that's no longer used. So that's the simple configuration. Then you can see there's a difference right here with the motherboard. This is defaulted to the ramps. So I'm going to show you how to change that and compile. But other than that, I'm going to leave it up to you to figure out the rest. If you want to know how to do the basic configurations for each one of the steps, though, I suggest you watch my playlist for your particular hardware. But if you do have a question, I have a Discord where a lot of people can answer your questions. And inside here, people ask questions and other people answer them. The only deal that I want to keep with people on this is that if someone helps you out, remember to pass it on to somebody else. And this will be in the description of the tutorial where you can find this link. I'm also going to put a uh, thank you note at the very end of this tutorial to uh, thank all of the patrons that are helping support me so that I can create more interesting tutorials for you. So let's just finish this up real quick. I'm going to click here. I'm going to save the modifications. So now this file's just been changed. We can go inside it and we can search on motherboard just to see. And so down here you can see that this is commented out. 
and we have the negative one that we normally would set and then we have the speed that was changed right here so what I'm gonna do real quick here is I'm actually gonna copy these two configurations and bring them back over to my default file folder so I'm gonna go to the Marlin folder then 2.0 then in the Marlin folder again, I'm going to then paste them right here. I'm going to delete these two because they're now old. And I'm going to rename them back to what they should be. So in this case, I'm going to remove the default. And I'll do the same for the other one. And then we'll go over to VS Code. So let me open that up real quick for you. So inside VS Code, we're going to click on the Explorer, then Open Folder. Then we're going to click on the Downloads folder, Marlin 2.0. Then we're going to click on the Marlin 2.0 again and select Folder. Inside here, you'll be able to actually see your configuration changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Marlin folder config.h and I'm going to search on motherboard just to make sure. And it apparently did not change. So what we need to do, we see that this changed right here and this changed. So we're going to change this real quick because I didn't actually make the change for this, but these are all set. So in order to set up, in this case, the board that we're going to be working with, we'll say is the SKR Pro, or we could use the actual uh, Big Tree Tech SKR version 1.4. We're going to go to source core boards.h. We're going to search on SKR underscore and that'll bring us to one of our two boards now the most common used SKR right now is the turbo which is a slightly faster processor on the board so I'm going to copy that and note that it's in LPC 1769 that's going to be important in a second so I'm going to close out a source and core Go back over to configuration.h. I'm going to highlight the board that we have here and paste it. So now we have the board actually configured for the correct motherboard. Next, we need to set up our platform io.ini. And if you haven't discovered already, the default configuration is the Mega 2560. And they add the strange text. That's actually a folder structure. So if you click over here to the INI file, you can see there's an LPC 176X. So we're going to click on this to see what we can find. And it's got two designations for boards. We're using the LPC 1769 for our default environment. And I'll show you why we're using that because we just saw it in here. LPC 1769 is the chipset for all of these boards right here. So we're going to go back to platform io.ini, paste it here, and that's our default environment. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you have your board connected, you can always use this upload, which will do a build and then upload to your board if you're USB connected. But if you're not, and you just want to compile it, in this case, it's an example, we're going to do the build with the checkbox. So I'm going to click on that. And if you come across an error during compile, first try a second compile. If that does not work, find the very first error that you encounter when compiling and correct it. The other ones are usually a cascade of errors that are caused by the first error. But in this case, we're lucky enough to have it compile in about 19 seconds. Now, this may vary between your system, but keep that in mind. So up here, we have our .pio folder. We also have our LPC 1768 chipset. And then right down here, we have our firmware.bin. That's what you're going to copy to your 
SD card on your particular printer for your particular build of the firmware. So remember when you're working with other boards and there's example files, always do a file compare to see what the settings are because it will help you in the future for setting up your board. So at this moment, I wanna take a moment to thank you for taking the time to watch my tutorial and please take care, get vaccinated and have a nice day.